Hey guys, Captain Dylan Hubbard here at Hubbard's Marina with a quick fishing report for your weekend outlook. Right now we're excited for some great weather coming up next week. Unfortunately, gonna be a little bit nautical here this weekend, really today through Saturday and into Sunday, gonna be pretty bumpy, pretty breezy with this north northeast wind pattern. And unfortunately with that makes it a little bit tough to get out there offshore. Uh, we're lucky, we should be able to get out there maybe nearer shore at the end of the weekend, but we're all looking forward to next week and we look to have some beautiful weather coming in for us. It should be really, really nice with some great fishing opportunities as we move into the work week coming up, especially Tuesday looks real nice, even Monday. But remember behind these big, big, big cold fronts where we have this sustained period of north northeast wind we have that big temperature drop we got to wait for the water to calm down the wind to calm down and then near shore we want to wait for it, that water to also clear up and it looks like Tuesday should be that day. Tuesday, Wednesday, and even into Thursday should be some really good fishing behind this big front. Those fish should be excited. They haven't eaten for a while, so they should be ready to eat, ready to chew, and ready to jump in the boat. As far as the weather is concerned, guys, we are on that last quarter moon, uh, coming up to that last quarter moon, working our way to the new moon. So next week, next weekend, end of next weekend and into early, uh, not this coming work week, but next work week, that's when we'll see the potential for that new moon. So we're gonna have some slower moving currents. It's gonna, water's gonna start moving a little bit slower, a little less tidal flushing, uh, but should still be some great fishing this coming work week uh, with the decrease in just turbulent weather conditions and finally some reprieve for those fish. As far as the fishing goes, right now inshore, we're seeing a lot of redfish action. Still redfish really dominating the inshore report. Seeing a lot of those redfish throughout our area, but here around John's Pass, really the king is the sheep's head. Also this past week, the last few days, we've been seeing quite a few decent shots at the snook. The snook fishing's actually been pretty good as of late uh, because it warmed up a little bit. We had some of those snook push back into the pass for us. We've actually been seeing some snook out on the beaches even. So these little warming trends in the winter time, sometimes those fish will come out and they'll get a little bit more active. And that's what we've seen the last few days. That warming trend kind of woke the snook back up and they got into that kind of almost fall kind of trend where they're staged and a little on the passes, a little on the beaches, but still a lot of fish are in those back bay areas right now. Really, really, really choked up. Now that we've had this big cold front, it's a chilly weekend. We've got that north northeast wind still bearing down on us. Those fish should stay pretty choked up in the back protected bay waters uh, through this weekend and into the start of next week. But if we get another 10 days of warm weather, they'll start poking their way back out and they kind of go back and forth depending on the water temperature and air temperature. So we should see some movement on the snook. Plus the trout bites going really well right now. We're seeing a lot of trout around the area, pretty large average size. Working those edges, we're seeing some of those trout around our dock lights and bridge lights at night, especially as we work our way to the new moon, that'll become more and more common. Uh, but a lot of the trout action during the day are out around the jetties, out around the beaches, the edges of the flats around inside John's Pass as well, seeing some of those trout. There are still late season tarpon around, surprisingly. A lot of triple tail action. There's a lot of crab traps out right now, and those crab traps have attracted the triple tail. The mackerel are here in force out on the beaches, around the jetty, around the bridge. Early morning is really a good time to get them. And then along our beautiful beaches and local fishing piers, plenty of mackerel action inshore. Near shore, we're seeing those mackerel extend off the beaches. We're getting a handful of the kingfish. Not a real crazy kingfish run yet, but there's definitely some kingfish around to be had. We're seeing a lot of those hogfish. The hogfish bite has been going really well for us and a variety of anglers in our near shore waters. 
great time to get out there and go get your hogfish. Uh, also, we're seeing some pretty good lane snapper action, some solid mangrove snapper action, and plenty of mackerel from the beaches all the way to our near shore fishing spots. We're trolling, catching plenty of mackerel. You can even uh, do some drift lines, catch some pretty big, large size mackerel. You have a chance for some kingfish. We're not getting a ton of them though. Uh, so it's really just a mackerel focus with tons of opportunities for those hogfish lanes, mangroves, and then plenty of the heads and tails. We're catching a ton of the white grunts or gray snapper right now on porgies. The bite is really, really good. There's not a lot of people around. Numbers on the boats are super low. So great opportunity to have plenty of one-on-one -on -one time with the captains and crew, plenty of elbow room and catch plenty of fish as well. Then offshore, really doing well on some nice big trigger fish seeing nice scamp grouper big mangrove snapper also plenty of vermilions almacos porgies uh, we're seeing a large variety of different species from yellowtails to muttons uh, to everything in between plus you have a chance for Plenty of pelagic action on the surface from blackfin tuna to kingfish, maybe even a tuna, maybe even a wahoo, you never know. So a lot of action up on the surface. The last couple of trips, we haven't seen that much pelagic action, but this is the time of year where we do get some pretty good pelagic action. We've just had a lot of green water around us, not really finding that deep, dark blue water, but we're hoping to get some nice pushes of water as that loop current changes. Uh, that should bring with it plenty of pelagic action, plenty of bait up on the surface too. On the bottom, seeing a lot of big mangrove snapper. The average size of the mangrove snapper has been really, really good. The last 39 hour trip, ironically, we had a way off between a Kubera snapper and a big mutton snapper. And the mutton snapper actually ended up being the largest snapper on the boat. It's pretty impressive, but that just goes to show you the variety of fish we're seeing. African pompano, a lot of different species. It's a great time to get out there. Don't forget, if you're too busy to go fishing, you're just too darn busy, hopefully you'll get an opportunity to come see why we're the number one fishing charter in the entire country. Hopefully you'll join us for our Sunday night live stream show every Sunday night at 7.30 p.m. Don't forget every Saturday morning from 6 a.m. to 8 a.m. we have our Real Animals radio show. And then also don't forget as well, Friday at uh, 8.15 a.m. we have our Fox 13 news segment too. So plenty of chances to catch up with us online, in person, in the digital world. Hopefully we'll see you out here. 